please. You may kindly take your seat. Thank you, choir. God bless you. Come on. Let's celebrate the choir one more time. The book of Matthew, chapter number 14, verse 25 to 32. The book of Matthew, chapter number 14, verse 25 to 32. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. The next verse. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straight away, the next verse, Jesus spake unto them, saying, Kai, be of good cheer, it is I. Don't be afraid, the next verse. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it, is, if it, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. The next verse. And he said, come. Notice that word, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. The next verse. But when he saw the wind posterior, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And then the next verse. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore this thou doubt? The next verse and the last verse for now. And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. May God bless the reading of his word. If you are not angry with the Holy Ghost, can I hear your amen? Amen. I'll be ministering on what I've captured, the force of faith. As we've been in the atmosphere of shift and we've been lasheting, leveraging on the prophetic direction God gave to our pastor, that this is the season for our shift. However, the force of faith can actually engineer your major shift. So I'm going to bring you into that arena where you will engage, where you will activate, and you will come out of this house as the one who has been shifted by grace. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there are many forces that God has put in place to manage and to govern different activities and reactions on the planet Earth. For example, we have the force of gravity. The force of gravity is the force that compels every object that go up to come down. As a matter of fact, it is what gives stability to anything called matter. That is to say, even though you are in church and you jump up, the force of gravity expects you to return. This force does not answer to tongue speaking. Because as long as you are relevant here, the force has been put in place to manage, to govern. There are many people here, you have been tied to a spot like every other person. And it looks as if it is normal. But God has sent me to you today. Aya, to tamper with normalcy in your life. Aya. <laughs> we are getting there. So this force, when it's engaged, <laughs> when you throw something up, it comes down. When you jump up, you come down. It, it pulls. It doesn't lift. It pulls. It is the force that makes any mortal being not to be able to walk on water. So you can have an understanding when Peter and his colleagues saw a mortal man, a mortal man like them walking on water, it can only be a spirit. When you start to do things that are not normal, they will not have the right word to describe you. 
I want to prophesy to 120 men and women here. If your amen can be outstanding from today, you will not be normal. The reason why it took you time to join us in that chorus is because you are trying to process. Ah, may I have to be normal? May I have to be normal? Excuse me. In the world where you and I live, normal people don't go very far. That is why he said, I and the children whom the Lord has given to me are for yeah, are for signs and wonders. In other words, your breakthrough should not be normal. Your marriage should not be normal. Your job should not be normal. How you get your visa should not be normal. Ah, let me go for that. Your house should not be normal. Not the one that stands like shigidi. I'm talking about house that look like aeroplane. House that stand out from other houses. You don't have to say, eh, hey, you are looking for number 14. Eh, maybe you start counting one, two, three, four. When your house stands out from other houses, when anybody's looking for your address, they say, ah, we know that. But you see, when you walk out like this, <laughs> you will see that house. It looks like a helicopter. That's the only house. Let me prophesy to those who are rugged here. Abnormal miracle will hit you. Abnormal breakthrough will hit you. Let me hear abnormal. I have to run because my boss has given me time. I have just 30 minutes. You see, this force, however, can be suspended. And that is where the aviation industry comes in. Because there's what we call the force of aerodynamics. That he used to say that the force that is higher than the force of gravity. When a plane begins to taxi, you look at it as if it wants to move like your car. It starts to go. Even your car itself can run past it. <laughs> And before you know it, it engages speed. At that point, there's a transaction going on. There's an abba. Yeah. The gear is about to shift. But by the here, they saw you the way you were in January. But by the time you hit September, if your amen can slap the devil on his face, You will accelerate. You will accelerate. You will get there faster. Can I hear your amen if you are there? Something is happening. A law, a force is about to be suspended. How do you take something that is in the hand of a strong man that you not first bind? the strong man to dispossess him. Every family has a strong man. The strong man that knew where you were born, how you were born, where you were born, but cannot tell how you will end. <laughs> a transaction going on. The plane is about to take off. You in the, in the, on the plane may not know what, was, what is going on. But there is an exchange going on between the object and the force. It has to move faster. You cannot be normal and get there on time. You have to be abnormal to get there on time. Because by the reason of human protocol, it can never be your turn the next 10 years. How can a prophet gets into a house and demanded for all the old children in the house for election. And the father of the house forgot the last born. By human calculation, 
It is never your turn. But guess what? The Bible says, for thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going. The plane is going. Something is about to happen. And the speed increase. Before you know Jack, boom! Because something just happened. A higher force is being engaged. For you to have uncommon breakthrough in the Nigeria of today, you must receive something that is abnormal. Something that is bigger than your salary spectrum. Something that they cannot explain how it happened. Sir, I came in here with a prophetic voyage. There are about 12 of you. I'm going to put this jacket on you. The responsibility of this jacket on the altar is to change your smell. That is to say, you enter a place, even when they vow that they will not attend to you, they must. Why? Because the smell is attractive. It's a smell of a fruitful field. Abala, the kote balada. Lift your two hands to heaven. I prophesy. Aya, by divine order, if your amen can be the loudest, Aya, receive grace for acceleration. However, at this point, where the higher force is being engaged, that is where the force of faith comes in. The force of faith is a force that turns a vegetable to a champion. You can never be normal with the force of faith. When it incubates you, your behavior becomes abnormal. I'm going to show you what the force of faith can actually do in your life. In Nigeria today, you need more than the budget to thrive. You need more than your salary to thrive. You need the force of faith to be activated on the inside of you before you can metamorphose to that level where you become a celebrity. Ladies and gentlemen, ordinary men can turn to supernatural men only if this force is being activated on the inside of them. This force is the force that is so powerful that gives you experiential knowledge of the supernatural God. That is to say that you don't know the capacity of this God until you engage this force. <laughs> it is the force that can suspend other forces. It is the force that exonerates you from your entire family and make it look as if you are the only, God, only one God has created. It is the force that make you to live larger than your salary, that make you to go to places where others have never gone. It is a force that, um, that make you not to accept a no for an answer. It is a force that when it's activated on the inside of you, your steps are not normal. Your communications are not normal. Your behavior and reactions are not normal. It has always turned ordinary men to petrax and matrix. Listen to me. In this day, it is the force of faith that delivers your inheritance to you. However, because of time, what are the things that the force will do on the inside of you? Number one, the force creates movement. 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 Show me your faith and I will show you my work. I will show you my faith by my work. Real Bible faith is not religious or a mental asset. Real Bible faith is an action faith. There is nobody who is a carrier of this force that sits like others. It is the force that was activated in Peter that made only Peter to move <laughs> at the face of the law of gravity. If you read your Bible very well, 
Jesus did not say, Peter, come. What Jesus said was, come. So if Philip or Matthew or whoever that was within the circumference of the word that was spoken, also believe it will not be only Peter that will have walked on the water. Because Jesus did not say, Peter, come. He said, come. And only Peter, who has the force of faith, stepped on the water. You are about to do something no one in your family has ever done. That is why you must engage the force of faith. As a matter of fact, it is this force that makes the four lepers, man of God, that make them to be restless. With the force of faith, you are always restless. You are not okay when it is okay. You are not ready to conform to the status quo. You get to your house and you start to look at your house very small for you. It is the force of faith that is kicking in. The force of faith makes you to look at your car and desire a change. The force of faith makes you not to sit and wait for pity party. Many of you don't know that it is your movement that engenders your breakthrough. The four lepers, they sat. While they sat, they said to themselves, if we sit here, we die. If we move into the camp, we die. However, it is better to die forward than to die where we are. Let's go! If you are 25 years old here yeah, and you are still staying in your parents' house, you need deliverance. From my spirit to my soul, unto my voice, we are called. You are of my world, worthy. As a man, you collected free house from your father. You move in here. You are now the semi landlord. Hey, 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 carry that bucket. Move from there. You need deliverance. If we sit here, we die. When I was growing up, I knew that I was not supposed to be a local champion. I knew that I was to, I'm to be a global voice. What did I do? Because the force of faith makes you to behave in a way that people cannot explain you away. I went to get international passport. I got international passport. First year, no visa. Second year, no visa. Third year, no visa. Fourth year, no visa. Six months down the line for the passport to expire. I asked myself, Ghana is an international country. Togo is an international country. Benin Republic is an international country. Oh boy, I carry my passport. I went to my two, pay for transport all the way to Ghana. All the way to Ghana. As I was passing through Benin Republic, I began to sing song to God. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Benin Republic. So long. I moved from Benin to Togo. I crossed. Ah. <laughs> Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. When I got to Ghana, I told the driver, take me to the cheapest hotel in this city. He said, my brother, that's not a problem. I shall take you there. As I went. Why? Because the force in me will not make me to be a local champion. 
I didn't know that I was paving way for the rest of other countries in the world. They say it's not your turn. Faith say it's your turn. Regulated. Because the force of faith does not become regulated by the circumstances around you. Lift your two hands to heaven. I prophesy to you. 120 of you, if your amen can be the loudest, you will get to where they say you will never get to. Can I hear your amen if you are there? Number two, the force of faith makes you believe on the word. Believe. It's a blessed is she that believes. For there shall be performance. The force of faith brings performance. Your performance level does not retard. Rather, it goes up. When others are saying there is a casting down in a nation like this, your own syllabus is not the same like theirs. The force of faith <laughs> makes you to attach your belief system to the word. That is to say, <laughs> you may not see the God who spoke, but you believe in the spoken word. Heaven and earth may pass away, but one jot of his word will never go unfulfilled. The force of faith makes you never to doubt what you hear. So if I say that in 24 hours, X, Y, Z will happen to you. What the force of faith does is that it captures that word in picture so that you can feature in it. Until you are a believer, you cannot be a receiver. There's so much power in this church right now. It's only those who are believers can become receivers. Proximity does not determine your connectivity. It is important for you to believe. So whose report do we believe? So the report of the Lord. We are in a war where the enemy contests for what you hear. How come when God said to Jesus, <laughs> say, he said, beloved, behold, my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. The next chapter, the devil came. I said, if truly you are the son of God, turn this stone to bread. Eh? Can somebody ask you, tell you that, if you're a man, stand up. <laughs> The word of God will not fail until she will come. Excuse me, sir. Every other thing can fail, but God's word cannot fail. He said forever, oh God, thy word is settled. The efficacy of the word can never be stopped by circumstances. You need to know that Nigeria is subject to the spoken word. Abba is submissive to the spoken word. Your territory is answerable to the spoken word. I don't want to know anything outside the world. So what the force of faith does is that God has spoken. Twice have I heard him. Power belongs unto him. How can Abraham receive a word for 70, at the age of 75? And 25 years later, the Bible says, He staggered not at the promise through unbelief. The guy was... Turning his prophecy and announcing it to everybody. Say, hey, I'm a father of nations. He said, I'm a father of nations. First year, second year, fifth year, tenth year, tenth year. I'm a father of nations. My children are everywhere. I'm a father. Fifteen years after, the guy was still speaking. He is like you now. After this service, you just stand. You put on your sunglasses. 
Some people know how to do shakara. You put your hand in your pocket like this. I'm a billionaire. Before, when you were coming to church, you were like this. <laughs> but now, after this service, you just change your step. <laughs> Do you realize how Pastor Annie works? He works as if he owns a bar. <laughs> your friend, they are always used to they are going on from this service. They say, hey, Mecca, let's go, let's go, let's go. We, 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 uh, Chelsea is playing. <laughs> they say, we will drop you. Did we come to this world together? <laughs> Believe is what you need. Not the doubt. Not the doubt. Let me prophesy to 120 men and women here. In the name that is above every other name. Major breakthrough that you have never seen in your life. If I can hear your loud amen, it's coming to you. Can I hear your amen one more time? In John chapter 1 verse 12. He said, as many that receive him, to them he gave the power to become. <laughs> Even to them that believe on his name. <laughs> <laughs> when you believe to a, point, to a point where you can trust God, it then means that you go to your mirror and you tell the guy in the mirror, you will not die. You will get married. You will travel abroad. I said, you are behaving and you are talking about ah. The belief system inside of you make you to go and price cars even when you don't have money in your account. They said, do you want to test drive? Say, yes, why not? But you don't have shishi. If you live in a rented house for 10 years in this church and you don't see any need to change that location, you need deliverance. Oh, wow, Luambe, Loria, Yeni, Ombenifo, Ombenisare. Instead of your landlord to serve you quick notice, serve yourself. Let me be quick to prophesy to you. This Christmas, you will not spend it in the house. perceive in my spirit that some people took them time to join us. Somebody say, I'm shifting. I'm shifting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, I'm shifting. I'm shifting. Uh, yeah. On your seat, I'm shifting. I'm shifting. Change your seat. Sit on another person's seat. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey ya, 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 hey ya. You know, some people they are so comfortable, they just sit down as the chairman of the local government. When the prophetic is happening, anything can happen. Somebody that is saying a loud amen, you have already shifted. Your finances has already shifted. Your career has already shifted. Aya, your business has already shifted. Can I hear your amen if you are there? I see scholarship, scholarship, scholarship. 
Scholarship. Scholarship. Ah, yeah. I see appointment. Come on now. If I can hear your amen, take your own portion. This night, your emperor will not sleep. Only this woman had me. This night, if I be a man of God sent to you, if God is behind me, this night, anyone that has been sent to help you, if I can hear your loud amen, they will not sleep. signature on that check on that document on that appointment if I can hear your loud amen they will not sleep tonight if you think we are playing keep quiet but if you know that this is your destiny let me hear your amen one more time changes your communication. You will never see a faith carrier that talk normal like everybody. Give me 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13. Haya. Thank you, sir. I may not be able to finish this. But I want to land somewhere. Aya. We have the same spirit of faith. Hey, not another type. I, this kind, another one. We have the same spirit of faith according as it is written. I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak until you are a sounding Christian you will remain signless. It is the sound you make that determines your signs. What the devil is trying to do is to keep you quiet. There's a difference between speaking and crying. When you speak, you are trapped. When you cry, you are trapped. But you see, when you speak, you attract positivity. When you cry, you attract pity. When the devil is speaking to you, speak back. When your landlord speaks to you, speak back. <laughs> it took you time to process it. Is the Lord and the fullness thereof, including your landlord? Your landlord tells you, Aga, Chinadu, sorry, Chinadu. <laughs> you have to pack out of this house. Tell him, Yes, I will pack out. So, when are you going to pack out? I will soon let you know. This kind of faith does not operate in dumbness. It's a speaking faith. You need to start talking to inanimate things in your house. There are some chairs, TV. Even though they are flat, they are not smart.
when you even want to rubbish the kind of grace you carry, you move from 32 inches. You move to 75 flat screen. Not smart. There are some fridge that are smart. There are some fridge. The current they draw, even your bank account always know it. Tell your neighbor, speak. speak. Come on now, tell your neighbor, speak. speak. Whatever you don't like, speak against it. Any relationship that will not take you far, speak against it. Any job that is not increasing your prosperity, speak against it. Aya, any car that you must open the bonnet before you start, speak against it. <laughs> Are you ready to command what belongs to you? <laughs> no which practice our craft by doing science. If they do that, nothing will happen. They must speak. You, Mr. Lagbaja, Mr. Lagbaja, you, wherever you are, Sound, don't take visa to travel. Ha, huh. I was praying July 10. <laughs> Very deep with one of my friends. On the 10th of July, as we got into one hour plus, I heard the Lord spoke to me vehemently. He said, I will assist you. Ha! I started crying. Throughout that day, the Holy Ghost began to expound. He said, when I assist you, you cannot be resisted. When I assist you, you cannot desist. When I assist you, you accelerate. So what do I do with that word? Pastor, every now and then, I whisper to the Holy Ghost. You say, you will assist me. Assist me. And before you know it, he started walking that same day. That same day! Aya. Ladies and gentlemen, you will speak as if you will not speak tomorrow. Because one of the attempts of the enemy is to keep you quiet. Why will you be a complainer and not speak to change that thing? There are things that does not respond to complaining, murmuring. They only respond to the power of the spoken words. One day, I went to the bathroom. I saw this guy in the mirror that was looking like me and was looking at me. I said to the guy, you will not die. You will be great. The world will hear your voice. Ah, you will go very far. And the guy in the mirror did not argue with me. The guy accepted everything I said to him. That is the power of the spoken word. As an ex-conductor on the street of Lagos, Oh, show you, show you, show you. Oh, show you, show you. I said to myself, I will not die as a local champion. I said to myself, I will travel abroad. When there was no passport, I was speaking internationally. I told the guys around me, I said, a time will come. Some of us will be preaching the gospel around the world. The mumus, instead of them to follow me, I said, hmm. Do you know that there are people here that because you've been speaking negatively is the reason why you are stranded. 
Your breakthrough is not in the hand of Tinumbu. Your breakthrough is in your mouth. Whatever you don't resist has the right to remain. There was a time I tore out a leaf from checkbook, a leaflet from checkbook, and I wrote myself one million naira and I pasted it on the wall. Then I said to the bank of that day, I said, You will pay me one million. Every now and then, I keep speaking. Even at that time, if somebody give me 10,000 high check, I'll be rejoicing. Ah, oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. My step will change that day. Praise God. For 10,000 high check. One day, not too far from what I've spoken, a young man who won big, big brother Africa that flew from South Africa. We were on the same plane. And then we flew. On the plane, the guy walked up to me. I said, I want you to be my pastor. And then, one week later, I went to visit him in his hotel. As I knelt, knelt him down to pray for him. After prayer, the guy stood up, walked into his room, brought me a check. By the time I opened the check, it was one million. I remember that he called those things that be not. I didn't come here to preach to you. I came here to midwife you. Because it is time for your destiny to be arrested.